What do you do when there's just no good men or women walking around? <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about here on Relationship Thursday. Uh, and that's always a funny topic to me because I hear that all the time, you know, um, and a lot of times it usually comes from ladies when they're going, there's just no good men out here and all the good men, you know, every man I run across, they're just dogs or, um, I had young ladies tell me at one time they got in the car and they were like, I was doing ride share and, um, they told me they're like, all oh, guys are dogs. And I started laughing and I said, well, I'm gonna let y'all in on a secret. And I said, Dogs are attracted to a certain smell, and they're like, and I said, wait, 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 that wasn't meant to offend. I said, what I'm helping you understand, it's like bullies. Bullies don't pick with everyone. Bullies look for people they believe they can bully. It's the same thing with the guys that you're calling dogs. They're looking for someone that will put up with the garbage that they're putting out. So if you're putting up with the garbage, is this an issue with them? Or the way you see yourself and one of the girls is like oh, oh my goodness that makes so much sense she's like I got it and I broke up with my boyfriend this morning if I and she said if I had I'd be breaking up with him now and I said well you make sure you remember that when he calls you so really kind of what I want to get to in this topic I just wanted to share that with you real quick you guys might have heard me tell that story in a couple other videos but uh, I always tell people I said you're always going to track based on where you are now, I heard one gentleman when he said that, he said, it's not about attraction. He said, because people say that, but it's not true. He said, um, it's who you entertain. It's not about who you attract because you attract all sorts of people. And I said, no, that's not, I get it what he's getting to. But it is who you attract because attraction means we, we, we come together. You guys follow? Attraction doesn't mean you're interested in me and me not interested in you because they're, the forces are going against each other. You guys follow? We're not coming together. It's not a magnet. So that means it's not an attraction. So an attraction means an agreement that we've decided to get in. So it is attracting. And you attract people based on where you are in your life. Um, that's why I made the comment when I said about, you know, being attracted to dogs is there's certain characteristics that you're looking at. And the, and the one I like to share the most that has gotten where people really starting to grasp what I'm talking about, as I said, it's like... You get hired at a company and you become the hiring manager. So you get to hire all the new employees. But ever since you've taken on that position, taken on that position, <laughs> uh, for those, those people that were going want to correct the grammar, but uh, he said, uh, I said, you're the one that's hiring all the people. So as the owner of the company, what are, who are they going to look at if all the employees are bad employees, which means they're not showing up on time, they're not doing their work, they're just, they're just not getting the job done. So who are they going to look at? You, right? You're the hiring manager. You're responsible for all the new people. So one of two things is going to happen. Either they're going to fire you because they feel like you're not doing the job and you're not capable of doing the job, or they're going to retrain you so that you know the right questions, what to look for, and that kind of stuff. So the bottom line is, the, they're still looking at you, not the people, you. Relationships are the same way. The people you're getting in relationships, you are the hiring manager. Think about that. I know for some of you don't want to hear that, but you are the hiring manager. You're allowing them. You don't have to get in a relationship with these people. You're picking them. You're attracting with them. You guys are coming together. That's a choice. But now they're bad got one or two options. <laughs> Remember what we just said? Yeah, one or two options. One, let somebody else pick them for you, which I don't recommend. You don't want anybody picking your people for you. Uh, I've had conversations about that too when they're talking about the pre-arranged marriages, and that's not going to be this particular topic here, but to each his own. For me, I don't need anybody to pick my partner for me. Let me do it. But so one or two things, like I said, you know, let somebody else pick them, which I don't recommend. Or two, you have to get better at the selection process. So what does it come back to? The same thing you guys hear me say all the time. This is get rid of who's your problems. Not anyone else. This is not about other people. 
the people that you're getting in a relationship that you're being attracted to and you're uniting with is because there's something that you're looking for. We can say something as simple as, um, I use the analogy of, uh, I have some neighbors that the, uh, they rode motorcycle and I mean, they enjoyed it. For the husband, that was a part of his identity. It was a part of who he is. So while they were dating, that was cool. We rode his bike. She enjoyed it. Everything's beautiful. They got married, had kids. Then she wanted him to stop riding the bike um, because it was a hazard, a danger. He got kids. He needs to be responsible. So a lot of people will agree and say, yeah, he should because he needs to be responsible. Well, that's one way to look at it. I differ. I, I disagree. And by that, the reason I disagree is because there's a difference in a person who rides a bike as a hobby and a person who riding a bike has become a part of who he is. Because now, all of a sudden, you're telling a person who now you basically stripped a part of who he is by telling him not to ride his bike. So he's not doing it by choice. He's doing it because of you. So every time he rides down the street and he sees a bike, who is he thinking of in a negative sense? You. Why? Because you're the reason that he's not riding a bike, not because he chose not to. You think that's not going to affect your relationship? Really? You really think that's not? We all know it's going to affect your relationship. You guys may start to wonder why you bicker on little things, and he may not even re recognize. And folks, you know everything I say it goes both ways, because it could be something else. It could be a bike for her or whatever else it is. But all of a sudden, your relationship starts to, you guys start to go in separate directions, and nobody really not know why. And when I say this, the bike you know, being part of the, the reason people think that wouldn't be a reason. No, it's the identity. This is not about the bike. This is about you stripping a person of their identity. And I had shared that with a, um, one time on a, on a podcast. And there was a guy who was like, well, sometimes you don't do things. Uh, what do you say? You don't do things because it's what you want to do. You do it because it's what's best for other people. And it's, in, it's the best thing to do. Or it's the right thing to do. And I told him, I said, well, you're a police officer. And I said, so your wife comes up to you one day and says, you know what, honey, recently I've got to the point where I'm tired of worried if you're going to come home at night. Every time you leave the house, I'm, 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 I'm scared if you're going to come home. So what you need to do is you need to stop being a cop. You need to go do something else for a living. What you going to do? All of a sudden he's like, oh, oh, oh well, uh, well, she knew this. Before, exactly. Same thing with the guy in the motorcycle. You can't strip people of their identity. If that if that's a part of who they are, you can't do it. You knew that coming in. She knew when she was riding with him, this is a part of who he is. You can't strip that away. Now, that's not to say in every situation, because you tell the person not to ride the bike, he's going to, it's going to lead to divorce. What can save the, the relationship? If he finds something that can get that same passion as riding the bike, and then it can replace the bike, you know, then you guys may, may get through this. But if he doesn't find something to replace it, that's why a lot of, uh, you hear about a lot of athletes that, you know, afterwards, after they get through their playing days, how they're miserable. It's because that became who they are. And once they did that, it's like they've been doing that since they were little kids. Then they did it for a profession. And it became, that was their whole identity. Now it's gone. What do they do? If you don't have something to fall back on, it's a dangerous place to be. Because now it starts messing with this. Not a good place to hang out. So, but anyway... What we what back to what we're talking about is is being able to attract the right person and, and taking responsibility um, is you got to recognize that it's not the people that you're getting in a relationship that there's no good people out there. It's just based on the way you see relationships, the based on what you're looking for. Um, so you have to get and we talked about that. I think. Uh, um, I did it not too long ago, but I talked about that list, you know, where people talk about building a list and the reason for creating a list is, um, I think I did it a couple of weeks ago. And I was talking about the reason you do a list, you know, because most people that talk about a list, they say because when you go shopping, you want to make sure that you only get what's on your list so you don't buy a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff. So you should do the same thing in dating. You need to make a list of what you're looking for. 
And so I've always said, a list is cool. And, and, but the thing that I tell people all the time is I said, but everybody has a list. So it's not something they got to go do. They already got one. The list may be, he's fine, she's cute, that's it. See? It's a list. But a lot of people qualify for that list. And that's why you start to have a lot of challenges in relationships. Does this, does this sound familiar or what we're getting to when we're saying about the people that you're attracting? See, your list, what's on your list? <laughs> so that means you need to clarify that list a little bit more, you know, uh, on what it is that you say you truly want. But for me, what I try to share is that getting the list together is cool. And you guys can tell by the example I'm just saying why you want to, you know, uh, add to that list. Because you do want to make sure that you don't waste a lot of time with the wrong people. Because you may say that he, he runs his own business or she runs her own business or whatever is a qualification that you're looking for because you're an entrepreneur. So you want to look for somebody that's driven like that. Well, a lot of the people that you're going to go talk to don't run their own business, don't want to run their own business. So therefore, a lot of people will be, you guys see what I'm saying? A lot of people will start to get eliminated, which means your people that you're dating, there's a lot of people, you know, because some people I hear, they, they go, but it's hard finding people. Yes, the more you qualify that list, it's supposed to get smaller. Think about it. We don't think about that. We make it sound like this is something complicated. No. The more that you qualify that list, the shorter of people who are going to qualify. It's just like, like back to what we talked about. If you're the hiring manager, the more things you look for as far as qualifications, the less people that's going to actually qualify for that position. Understand that's the same thing in relationships. The more you get in line with that list, the less people that are actually going to qualify and should qualify. But more importantly, this is what I always stress with the list, though. And I believe the real reason for the list. The real reason for the list is so that you can look at it and see, do you qualify for the person that you're looking for? Chances are pretty good you don't because you'd be with the person if you did. And again, this is not a good, bad, this is not a negative, this is not a stab at people, it's none of that. It's just we have to come to a reality and say, Huh. When I look at my list, I'm not doing the stuff, you know, like like I did. And I did talk about that on the list. Like if you want a person that rides a bike, you don't ride a bike. You guys follow? So again, so this is not about are there any people out here that are good people? I keep attracting the wrong people. You can only attract based on where you are because there's certain qualities, your list that you're actually looking for. So the better you get at knowing what you're looking for, because that's why I always use that phrase and people again don't like to hear it. I said, you're always with the right person. The person you're with is just telling you what your qualifications are at this point. So if you don't like who's there, quit blaming them, quit getting mad, Understand, they filled out an application, you accepted it, you hired them, and now you're mad at them for being exactly the person you saw in the application. Got to get better at the qualifications. And even though, and we do know some people lie on applications, don't get that, don't get that twisted. Some people do lie on applications. So, but if you know what you're looking for, it's gonna, the chances of you getting the right employees are going to be good. In this case, you're going to get better at the selection process. And then, but you'll be able to pick up a lot faster if they're really fitting the, uh, what they said on their application or whether they just lied on the application. And then you have good grounds for, for cutting them off, letting them out of the job because they lied on the applications, just like you let that person that came into the relationship, that came in, you go, woo, you lied on your application, you got to go. So I'm saying it's kind of uh, being funny, but at the same time, I, got, I want you guys to understand, this relationship thing, this is all about, as I keep saying, get you together first, and then the process becomes very, a lot simpler because you know what you're looking for because you're very comfortable with who you are. Then as you do that list and you go through and qualify, then it becomes a lot simpler. So as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Quit beating up on people because they're being themselves and they're fitting their uh, application. 
and realize you need to do a better job of screening. And uh, so anyway, I look forward to talking to you guys next Thursday, for those of you who listen to uh, Relationship Thursday. And for those of you who uh, want to do more on looking at me and loving me more, I look to talk to you again on Self Love Monday. And uh, what I was getting ready to tell you, because I, I had the topic that I was going to cover, champions. We're champions. I'm going to talk a little bit about, about that, about the champion, us being champions, born champions, and um, how to regain that, that back. So anyway, as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care and live with passion.